Hello, hello! Uh, my name is Martin, I will appear in the image in about 10 seconds. Listen, <coughs> I made you a clip. Uh, there on the floor is a blue spot. This is a, a X. It's marked with tape. Uh, why do I film this? What do I have the intention to tell you about this X? Okay, listen. There are... When you have unsharp uh, images or when you have uh, flickering uh, focus from uh, autofocusing uh, lenses like this uh, Fuji kit lens, there are more than one solution to this problem. At first, you have to understand and know how the focusing software of a, a Fuji or any other camera does uh, adjust the, the focus on its point. So the idea is the software will calculate where the light gets reflected appropriate to the software's adjustment. So, blah, what does that mean? When you have behind you a, a dark background, I will make it now dark back again, you now don't see me as sharp as when the lights are on. And when I, I, when I produce as object a good contrast be, uh, between the, the, the background behind me and the light here and the foreground, then the camera software knows where I'm standing and is able to adjust uh, appropriate uh, to the... So I, I'm sharp in this depth of view field. Okay, so my throat. Uh, the, sh the, the sharp point or the depth of field view where I'm sharp inside of this field is from here to about here. This field is about one meter in size long. Uh, normally there are uh, different um, uh, ideas how it will get, uh, how the, the field will get bigger. When you have uh, a 300 mil lens like this one, uh, in example, this is, uh, uh, I will get sharp in a second, um, this is uh, old Jupiter Tayar uh, 17, I assume, Tayar uh, 3S. With this lens, when you are focusing about 50 meter, 15 meters from you on an object, the, <coughs> the size from the depth of view field will expand because this is an optical law, the, the, the image here will be sharp here. So this, this, this length from the, uh, from the barrel will be able to uh, um, expand this depth of field view because you have uh, a longer, um, uh, a longer um, I don't know the name for this, uh, triangle. Um, and there is the, the sweet spot of the image um, uh, where this, the, the depth of field view is just bigger because of the size of the barrel point, that's easy. So when you have such small lenses, like, um, or when you have smaller lenses, this is now um, a 50 mil uh, in focal length, uh, then the depth of field view uh, will get smaller too. And it uh, will not uh, be uh, anything sharp uh, what is behind or what is before this depth of field. Okay, when you now, when you will, uh, when you have the intention to step up your focus game and uh, deliver a standard of good quality uh, movies uh, on YouTube or where you, wherever, uh, uh, just move on the camera. Here is a lever. It says uh, manual, system, and continuous. When it is on manual, you adjust manually, like on this manual lens. Um, uh, the, the focus point on an object uh, where you are standing on or in between of them. And then you have this uh, focused uh, zone where you can walk about, uh, well, a meter and you will stay sharp in focus. That's about that. Uh, when you want to change your saturation of colors, uh, you choose a lens that has a strong saturation in colors, like this. Uh, um, Asahi uh, Takuma 500 that cost about 200 euros and you buy an adapter for it, this M42, uh, M42 adapter uh, to a Sony or to a Nikon or to a Fuji. When you buy one for the Sony there will be a lens inside, an optic that helps um, focusing the image on the Nikon sensor. When you 
I would not advise you to buy a Nikon because why not buy a Nikon? You have one, you did it. Why you do, why you advise people don't buy one? When you want to adapt lenses, buy a Fuji or a Nikon because uh, the sweet spot of the sensor uh, and the focus, um, uh, the focusing point will be uh, from the Nikon lens just appropriate to a Nikon camera. You can take, uh, uh, of course, a Nikon lens and adapt it with such an adapter like this on a Sony or a Nikon because the, the, you have just to um, get in the sweet spot that uh, optics uh, will deliver a sharp uh, image. That has been done with, with, the, with the size of the adapter, with the boldness, uh, let's call it th that way. Um, when you are taking um, a different um, lens uh, I had in mind, um, uh, Yashinka lenses, they will have a, a, a not so bored um, adapter because the, the image <coughs> the image will be let, let me get this together the image will be sharp here or you know, here where the sensor where the light hits the sensor where the sharp point of the focusing area hits the sensor so so as much for the optical uh, calculations and the mathematics behind it when you take a Nikon camera. Uh, the, the, the sharpness point has to be deeper inside of the, um, uh, of the, of the body. So you have to buy a, a special lens adapter with the lens, uh, optical lens in it. So it will be sharp here inside the body and not like on a Fuji or a Sony in the, in the more... Uh, the, the Sony and Fuji cameras are not as thick as a Nikon and the sensor will be more near on this side of the... On the on the on the barrel when you uh, on the mount it's now okay that's as far as it goes when you want to work with the with the auto focusing uh, lens you have to uh, make uh, the contrast uh, around you bigger so you need more light you need the light in your face and you need or you need the light from upside uh, don't make it from down because it looks just creepy like in a horror movie and. Uh, and then, well, that is about uh, what I have the intention to inform you. When you want to, uh, when you want to deliver sharp images, you on the right uh, clip here. And again, when you want to deliver sharp images by manual lenses, uh, take out your uh, system or your continuous focus, make more light, let uh, continuous focusing work. When you have enough light, it will work. When not, it will not be. In, uh, possible for the software to calculate all the things out so it will be sharp as, as, as far as I know the facts. When you want to have a bigger depth of field you need a longer barrel or a longer barreled lens like this one. Then you will get more depth of field and uh, anything inside this depth of field uh, will be sharp. Uh, I assume now my arms will be not more sharp now. My fingers here will not be sharp and here. That's about one meter ten. So when I come closer with my hands now you will see they will become sharper. That's because of this depth of field thing. So <coughs> when you want to have sharp images when you shoot you can photo stack. That means you tell your focus uh, focus here you can adjust this in bracketing and then uh, uh, as far as uh, the Fuji and then uh, the next step is 20% uh, more than or, or 1% I was I'm not certain but you will see it you can adjust it make one shot here you start the bracketing will make one uh, adjusted forward uh, um, shot uh, in the in the more in the depth and the next step will be here and the next step will be here you can adjust it like you want, but then you have automatically focus uh, a stacked photo uh, scenery, and all in the in this stacked uh, photos will be um, sharp. But with film, it is not possible. You have to adjust um, the depth of field that you can use. So buy a big barrel, and you have a bigger field of uh, depth of view, or um, Mark a spot and stay inside, then you have a solution for this. Um, that's all about now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the clip. Um, I will not repeat it again because I think three times is enough, uh, so uh, you can get out the most of it. Depth of field is determined by the length of the barrel, and when you want to 
have a sharp um, shot of a scene, measure the point, focus on it manually, let, it, let the lens stay there, stay inside, and you have a perfectly crisp image. That's all from me now. Enjoy your movie making. Bye.